Well, hey there, and how are you today? Yes, I am starting this with showing you some of my favorite mouse ears. Because I know that there are many people who have been um, absolutely thrilled about a certain doll line that has just come out. And I was thrilled as well. How? But my reason for being really happy about getting them um, well, if you see the mouse ears here, it might clue you in on why I was personally really wanting all, at least one of the dolls. And now, these, I didn't get, I did not go hog wild because I just don't have the budget to spend a lot of money on dolls. I did get these through Target. Last week, Target had, um, had, I think they still have them, or maybe not. Well, when I was looking at Target a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, I can't remember since the time is terrible, but I was able to get the outfits for $14.99 instead of $16.99, which is what they were costing through Disney. And I was able to get the doll for 15% off. I did have to pay full price for this pack though so which was $16.99 but um and I know um I love Snow White I do I love her she's my favorite princess however my second favorite princess is Cinderella I love Cinderella and out of all the clothing packs since I was only going to get one I really like this one I like a lot I really really wanted it and and I was looking at all the dolls, and look at those mouse ears. Yeah, I was excited about the mouse ears for my dolls. The fact that there are other neat things about the doll as well, just a bonus in this at, so far. However, I'm beginning to like the dolls more and more the more I look at them. But um, look at the mouse ears, some mouse ears, mouse ears for the dolls dolls with mouse ears <laughs> uh, sorry yeah anyway um it's a whole thing so anyway um i got the one that's she's doing the disney bounding look for cinderella then i got them the secondary disney bounding cinderella look because i think it's just so pretty and i just and of course i did get the one snow white thing but not because he's a snow white thing but because I just love the look of this dog. He looks, he's like a great height and he looks so gosh darn happy that I just, I just had to get him. He needed a home. So let's open all these up and take a closer look at them. I'll be all right. right. Now, before I open up the doll, I guess we should look over a little bit more at the packaging. So of course it's, has a kind of, um, a very clean look for the box and you have of course the artwork for snow white which <laughs> i kind of like that oh my surprised look on her face i, I kind of like it then you have more of her on this side of the box and then on the back you have the other dolls from this collection and I just think this is an incredibly cute idea. And as some, a lot of you know, Disney kind of came out of like, we were all just innocently going about our business, looking, looking forward to new Rainbow High, new Barbie, new LOL, and all that other stuff. And boom, oh my God, Disney drops these on us. Wow. And yeah, so anyway, but I just love it. Very nicely done. And I guess it's Illy, right? I-L-Y, I, you know, I love you forever, Illy. But anyway, whatever it's called, I think it's cute. Now, okay. all right, I was going to do this off camera, but you know, since these, I know a lot of people have opened these, but they haven't been like overly opened yet. So maybe get an idea of whether or not they're difficult or not or, or whether you just have a buffoon like me who's going to just rip apart the box entirely by accident i would 
I was kind of hoping to take better care of it than that. So it does look like I need to snip some tape here so it'll come out a little easier. There we go. And will the doll come out? Let's see if it will come out nicely now. Well, it's not being very nice. There we go. Okay, the doll was being perfectly nice. I was being a dunderhead. So, okay. Well, I kind of like this uh, background here. Looks quite pleasant. So, now is she going to be difficult to get out otherwise, though? It may be difficult for me, but easy for other people. Yeah. I tell you, I'm so accident prone. I was born by accident. I just know it. My mother insists, since tells me that isn't true, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure I believe her. By the way, I'm going to. In a couple of weeks, I need to get things moved around in my house because I'm going to move my parents in with me because they're getting, they're not getting, they are up there in age. And I find myself worrying about them all the time now. And they're not incapable of doing things. They, I mean, for people their age, they're really pretty spry. However, I still worry because you know you only they're the only set I've got. I I do not have a backup pair of parents. They're they're it. You know the butt stops with them. So yeah. Okay. Almost. Okay, so these dolls are articulated. My goodness. There, okay. Here's the doll. So now let me uh, get her other things out of the box. Just stay right there, chickadee. Okay. So we still have a couple more things. So we have the sweater, the sweater jacket, which I noticed all the dolls come with some kind of like, you know, evening, you know, something they can wear at night to not be cold once it starts to get, you know, the evening hours, which I think is cool, is really nice. Although last time when I went to Disney World a couple years ago, I was foolish, and I went when it was wicked hot. I don't think it got cold at night when I was there. But I did learn something. I learned to never go to Disney World at, in August, ever, ever, ever again. Yeah. You know, you learn. But it was a fantastic experience, regardless. Um, yeah. My whole family had a good time. It was a trip to remember. Uh, you know, I mean, literally, a lot of memories were made. My son got engaged. One of my sons got engaged. So here's her little, um, whoop, more jinkies to kick off. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. Oh, bibbidi, boo. And, okay, that's cool. All right. All right. And let's see, we have her. I still need to get out of her little camera. Go. So we have a little camera here. I'm sure a lot of people probably know exactly what kind of a camera this is. I'm not one of those lot of people. However, I can't appreciate enough to think that looks really cool. And I bet they sell something quite, quite like this at Disneyland. But I don't know. And then we have, that's right, the balloon.
And by the way, I, I like balloons. I have a thing about balloons. I really do. And I don't know if they still do it nowadays. Do they still make it so, like, if you go out... Whoops, I think I accidentally found the tree. I didn't mean to do that, so at least go quickly. I'm not going to open up the, tree, the little surprise, though, until I... There. There we go. All right. Now they're doing the... Whoops. That's such a satisfying sound. All right. Well, okay. It's already opened. So as... I'm going to close it real quick because some people might not know that this balloon... Which you can hold like so... Has... A surprise inside so from the outside it looks like a regular balloon it is flat on the back though and um, from what I've seen it's very well you have the surprise in there so it's a good thing to get the surprise out and you have this little thing back here take it off and then it's wrapped with some really neat paper oh, before I open it up though that's right. Here, here's a little um, catalog of different surprises it might be. So, let's see, we have lollipops, Mickey Mouse ear lollipops. Ooh, I love those. <gasps> Mickey Mouse ooh, hot pretzel, like those. Popcorn. Um, is that ice cream? Is that supposed to be ice cream? I'm guessing that's pancakes. Wait, maybe that's ice cream. I think I'm in the mood for ice cream. This is going to be a problem. And right, Mickey Mouse rice cakes. And is that a Mickey Mouse shake? Yes, I'm really wanting ice cream now. Okay, Mickey Mouse uh, big old pancake, I guess. And um, the shake. So, all right. Uh, hmm. wonder what I'm going to get. I have no idea. So, comes in this really pretty paper. And I have, ooh, okay, I have these. This, this is some kind of ice cream something, right? This is a treat. It looks tasty. I want chocolate. Yeah, okay. I, okay, so anyway, here's the treat. Come on, come on, camera. Ugh, fussy thing. But yeah, those look good. I want one. I want to eat something like that. And here's the paper. Really cute. There we go. No, there we go. Here's the paper. Really cute. Now I can show it to you the right way. Woo! Yay me. So now we have the doll. So here she is up close. So she has the inset glass eyes, which I think is quite remarkable. Um, I can tell you people, you folks, this doll has some weight to her. This is a substantial doll. The, she is very definitely just once as soon as you pick up this doll, you know that she is not a cheap doll. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is some quality and you know, yeah. So she is articulated. So she's got her these brown eyes. She looks quite cheerful. So, um, she does not have the eyelashes, but that's okay. I did really think she would. Of course, she has some little Cinderella mouse ears. <laughs> I love mouse ears. Oh, mini mouse ears. Yeah, my daughter got me started on the mouse ears. I did not like cutesy things, but my, my daughter just, she broke me. She broke me, folks. And when we went to Disney World, um, she wanted a pair of mouse ears, and I'm looking at the mouse ears, and I tried on one pair, and I liked how it felt to wear them. So I bought myself a pair, too, and I wore them around the park. Yeah. And I did that. And I had so much fun, and so I started collecting them. So anyway, but enough about me. So this doll, so let's see. She's got these beautiful curls, and she, I love this brown hair. It's such a nice, pretty shade of brown. And, yeah, the hair feels pretty feels pretty good. So I'll probably comb it out for good. I like how she, it's wrapped. Her, you know, her high ponytail is wrapped with more of her hair. So let's see. So she can move her hands. 
So you can bend at the elbows somewhat. So her arms can move. Let's see. She does not bend. She does not turn at the waist. So I would say that her articulation is similar, with the exception, though, that her knee bends better. But um, the articulation is somewhat similar to a um, Barbie extra doll. However, she also has articulation in her feet. How awesome is that? Look at that. All right. She's cute. She's cute. So she's wearing these um, kind of, um, I guess, uh, magical looking um, sweatpants, yoga pants. Well, you know. When I went, when I was at Disney, I'm sorry, I want to be comfortable too. You're climbing in and out of rides and you're just uh, you're having to wait around a lot and stuff. You do not want to wear uncomfortable clothes when you're at Disney. You just don't. So I can see wearing that if I was young and slender like her. I'm in my 50s. I have a unibut now. It wouldn't look the same. So anyway, I love this little top of hers. And she has, it's a little painted, this silver slipper. So cute style top too. And it's a nice material. Oh my goodness. This is like, this is good material, folks. It fastens in the back. But yeah, this is, this is not the kind of, this is not like your average Barbie doll kind of material. This is good quality stuff. This is stuff you you can get you're going to get from a store from like a fabric store to make clothes with. So it's, that's great. All right, I want to look at the purse now though. You, I want to look at your. I'm sorry, cheeky, but I want to see your other accessories. So I'm like, oh, and her shoes. Look at her. She's got these slippers with little bows on them. You know, like Cinderella with her slippers really cute I don't know how comfortable they'd be but but yes I like it. okay so here is her little purse which is also so cute look at that that is adorable so you have this like ribbon it's definitely a fabric um, strap does this open it does it opens all right and you can kind of probably, if you really wanted to, put something in there. I wouldn't. But it's cute. It's cute. It's a nice little purse. And honestly, it's kind of like a little Chanel kind of purse. But I don't think a young girl like her would be carrying a Chanel. And, of course, she also has her nighttime for keeping warm at night. So Let's see. Let's check this out. I love those ears. I know I keep saying it, but I do. I love them. I love them. I love them. But let, let's get her nighttime out, outfit on. Blah, blah, blah. So. Now, her hands and feet can come off if it was really dedicated. But, you know, I probably won't be rebodying her because her skin tone is not one that i've really seen with my dolls a lot of this particular skin tone and the ones that do have the really neat skin tone i would have to work hard to find them um made to move bodies and i'm probably not going to make them give them up for the new doll sorry sweetie but yeah you're gonna have to wait if we do rebody you yeah because they were here first you know it's only fair so anyway here we go though and that looks cute. Yeah, that's cute. Very cute. Okay, I like it. I love this. And this is also a nice jersey kind of fabric. I mean, look, you know, it's definitely finished. So the seams are nice. They're not messy. This is a, this is a garment that can be taken on and off by a child, and it will not get ruined within a day. This doll can withstand a child, which is good. All right, you know what? I want to take a look at her other outfit because I was so excited about that outfit, this outfit, when I saw it. I just, this outfit. I really was excited about this one a lot. So 
Give me a moment. I'm going to uh, change her into it. Be right back. I just love this outfit. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at her. She has this really pretty little blue bow. And then her earrings are little silver bows. Of course, you have this really super soft sweater. It's kind of a scoop neck. And it has the finished neckline and finished um, wrist finished cuffs. And the stitching is, is wonderful. And this beautiful skirt. I love this skirt. It is so pretty. And it's even prettier in person. The colors, I don't know if it's capturing this or not. But she's just, I love this. I think it's so pretty. And of course, as we know, these will also fit Barbies. I The skirt will probably be a little snug on a regular Barbie. It will probably fit better on a petite or one of the really slender Barbies, but it, it will fit. And of course, this shirt will as well. But yeah, I love it. And of course, we have her little shoes. And they open in the back. So they're not over hard to get off of her feet on and off. And then she has, look at her little mouse bag. How cute is that? And it does open. It has an opening. I would not put anything in there, of course, because, you know. But it's so cute. I just want to go cuss, cuss. Sorry, forgive me. And we have her watch, which is stopped at midnight. How appropriate is that, folks? Huh? How appropriate is that? I love this outfit. I want to get all of them, but I figured if I was going to start, this outfit would be a good place to start, and I, I think well worth the money when you when you consider what what you're getting. And I now want to get out. I want to get the puppy out. Okay, I have him out of the box, and um. Oh, okay. Well, you, he can kind of stand on his own. Although, if you want his paw flat, he whoop, goes down. But, um, I guess you can make him, all right, he can kind of stand, stand up on his own. Uh, that's, that's good. So his face, his head moves back and forth. I mean, look how happy he looks. He likes like this, this happy, happy dog. I would totally want to pet this dog in a park. And he has this really cute little bandana on. And the front leg is, stays in the one position, but it does go out. So I guess you can kind of like get in some positions. Okay. All right. I, okay. And of course this one can, so he can you know, shake and stuff, you know. He's cute. He is cute though. I, I don't care if he doesn't stand up perfectly. And I love his height compared to the doll. That is a great height. And he has this, his leash. And it has this, and it even kind of has this little snap thing to be able to go right on with the doll. He's awfully cute. Now, he also comes with his beautiful bowl of kibbles. And the bowl itself is pretty. It's pretty. I like it. And the kibbles are pretty well done, fairly realistic. Here we go, pooch. Um, we have a hat. I'm guessing the hat is for the doll to wear. Oh, let's see. Let's try the hat on her. I think I'm going to put her ponytail through the hat, right? Because that's a very, that ponytail took time to make, right? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oops. I'm very clumsy. Oh. Stay put. All right. There we go. Okay. So, yes, the hat looks good on her. Let me stand him back up again. Now that I know how to stand you up, you're going to sit and say, no, I want to fall now. Oh, there. Stay. Okay. 
So she has this pretty little water bottle. It matches his kibble dish. I'll find it someday. <clears throat> I'm not going to put this on, but here, look at this belt. It has a picture of Doc on the belt. I don't know if that's helping or not. God, I needed a better camera. Well, anyway. And comes with a couple little kibbles, little dog bones. I can go right there in that little pouch. Very cute. Oh my goodness. And oh, a brush to brush them. And the doll can actually hold on to the brush. It has this little bow because this is a Snow White set. This is a Snow White accessory set. And um, ah, some puppy treats with a picture of one of the Dalmatians. On the outside, yummy puppy treats even. And then it has little apples and things on it too. I don't know if that means that there's apples in there. I don't know. And then it has this little... Um, dog leash but it does not um you know um, go in and out or anything looks like it should but it doesn't but it's cute it's cute little paw print on it in the bow and let's see have this list for monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday okay well there okay list of things to do uh yeah i need more days of the week and then I guess you have this little doggy chew toy. There we go. Yeah. And they said the accessory set was $16.99. I like it. They have um other accessory sets. Some of them though you can like only be able to see online through the Disney store. And yeah, there's a couple that I would really like, but um that's gonna that's gonna be a while before I get them because i i spent more than i should have on this more than i normally would have but um you know i'm i'm gonna, I'm gonna say it though this doll was 29.99 well 15 percent off but still basically 29 your average you're generally gonna pay though 29.99 for this doll but she does feel she she has some weight to her she is not near she does not feel you know hollow this is not a cheaply made um toy it's a well-made toy the clothes are well made these disney actually put some real work into the into these sets so if you do feel inclined to get any of them i'm i'm not convinced that you're going to be wasting your money unless you hate something like this in which case yeah then don't do it but but yeah, beautiful doll. I love the inset eyes. And my only complaint about them really would be I'm a little not keen of the, the you know, they look a little cross-eyed. Yeah, they do. They look a little bit cross-eyed. But other than that, it's okay. Although, I don't know. I wonder if that can be fixed. What do you think? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I want to, but she, the, the eyes are actually pretty. The pupils are pretty, and I don't think I'd be able to make them look as pretty afterwards. So um, I think I'm just going to have to get over that she looks a little bit cross-eyed, but she has a nice expression. She's cute. So anyway, thank you very, very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate people who stop by if you like this comment please hit like um this comment this video but yes please comment comment down below i love comments from people and i generally will always try to answer them because it makes me really happy to get them and um you know sharing is caring so please share this video if you want to maybe someone else is on the city is on the fence about whether or not they think the doll is a good idea yes i believe she is she is a very well-made doll this is not a waste of money kind of um product this you, i think you're going to get your money's worth honestly this is she's 
you know, twenty nine ninety nine for her, or sorry, Barbie, but I gotta say it, or you know, almost thirty bucks for Barbie. You're gonna get better quality here. You are great quality. I would obviously I like both, but yes, um, the clothing sets for just a little bit more. You can get a you know they're a little bit they're a few dollars more than the Barbie set, but they're again sorry Barbie I hate to say it, but the clothes are way better. They are. They're, they are. They're way better quality. And you get an entire outfit, the shoes, you know, the whole whole thing. And um, the little other accessory packs. This is the only one I've gotten. I'd like to get all of them. Um, uh, for $16.99. Do I think this dog was worth $16.99? Because I've, uh, I'm going to be honest, people. I don't really care about the other little things that came with the dog. So I got it for the dog. I don't know if, in retrospect, if I would do $16.99, except that I love how happy this dog looks. He looks like a very happy, happy dog, a very welcoming dog, the kind of dog that I would see and I would want to pet. And, you know, it would be a good dog for a family. I like the, I love the expression on this dog. And you can get other dogs, you know, dog pets and things like that from other brands and things to go with your dolls. But really, I, I love this. I love his face. So I would have, okay, I would have rather have him on clearance. Okay, yeah. All right. Yes, I would. I'd rather have gotten him on clearance. I'm a little eh, disappointed in myself that I fell for getting him full price. I'm not going to, but I do not really, I, I should have buyer's remorse, but I don't. I don't have buyer's remorse because he's, he's cute. Love that expression. I just love the, how happy he looks. He's, he's great. So I'm quite happy with, um, <laughs> sorry. I'm happy with the set. Well done, Disney. So anyway, again, thank you for stopping by. I cannot seem to cannot seem to avoid meandering my way out of any video. I'd apologize, but you're kind of coming to know what to expect. So <laughs> yeah, it's that. So anyway, thank you for stopping by. Have a great day and goodbye.